है फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन टुडेज सेशन विल कवर द कंसेप्ट कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड केप द बेल रिंगिंग नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस all of you must knowing the difference between a language which is understood by the human being and a language which is understood by the computer the language which is understood by the computer is nothing but the computer languages and we can say that coding is nothing but giving instructions to a computer everyone knows that that coding what does it involve it involves the instructions given to the computer and what to do the things and how to do the things these instructions are given to the computer through coding this can be done by providing sequence of instruction using a programming language or a computer language a computer language which understood by human as well as a computer or a machine so the sequence of instructions are nothing but the language or a computer language then the machine interprets the instructions and carries them out to achieve a specific result obviously to perform any particular task we instruct a computer in a specific way so to give to achieve a specific result whatever the instructions are written with the help of programming language that the machine interprets that instruction and carries them out to give particular specific result now let's go forward with the computer languages basically there are into or they falls into two groups the first group is nothing but low level languages and the second group is nothing but high level languages the middle level languages is also there but briefly we can say that they belong to the two groups for the detailed explanation i have explained all these thing in my previous video for better understanding you can go to that video you can learn the things from that for your reference i am providing you a reference link in this right up corner now let's start with the low level languages in this video i am explaining you this thing in very short but in the previous video all the things are explained in very well manner with the help of example so low level languages are nothing but machine level language and assembly language assembly language is also called as a middle level language now why they are called as machine level language it understands only the zeros and ones the assembly level language why it is called as assembly level language or why it is called as middle level language all these things you will come to know from my previous video now let's start with the high level programming language you actually high level programming languages are more human friendly they are similar to the human languages and look a lot like english usually they offer a shorter more precise and less verbose ways to create instructions that computer can understand so there are three high level languages the structured language procedural language and a object oriented language these also things in detail i have explained in my previous video i hope you have must gone through that and you have understood the things very well now let's focus on the heart of this video session is nothing but the categorization of computer languages actually the computer languages are categorized into three the first one is programming language second one is scripting language and the third one is markup language now in this video session actually i am focusing on these three categorization of a computer language so let's start with the 
first programming language so the programming languages are used for writing logical set of instructions for a computer to execute and to solve a particular problem if any problem is there and if we want to so sort out that problem with the help of a solution or with the help of a programming language that the programming language helps us to write a logical set of instructions that instructions will be given to a computer and computer will solve that particular problem so program written in human readable form but get converted into a machine code that is which is called as a binary so usually high level programming language this program this set of instruction will be given to a compiler compiler converts the high level language program into the machine level language program and this language program is readable understood by the machine by the computer so this conversion from a high level programming language to machine level programming language is happens with the help of compiler this compiler fully translates at all at once all the instructions at once we can say that written in a high level programming language into a something or the computer cpu can easily understand is nothing but a machine level language so mainly what the thing you have to uh, keep in mind this compiler compiles all the line of code at a time if your line of code is 100 lines then all the lines will get compiled at a time and will get converted into a machine level language obviously the compiler find out any error if it is and it gives prompt to the error and we supposed to solve that error and then we have to recompile the program once the instructions are in a machine readable form if your program is error free it converts that high level program into the machine level and once the instructions are in a machine readable form the computer executes them and they run on the machine to give a specific result or which is nothing but the execution of a program and which solves your problem to a specific solution now let's see which programming languages are available the top most or used by the programmers are nothing but c++ and java let's see what is c++ c++ is both procedural and object oriented programming language and actually object oriented programming language or a program divides a program into objects the many more details about this i have explained in my previous video now what is java java is also top most next programming language which is also object oriented programming language it is general purpose programming language and its syntax is based on c and c++ programming language c is also a programming language and all these are nothing but a programming language which are helpful to write the set of instructions and compiler executes all this set of instructions to give a specific result now let's move forward for the scripting language so what is scripting language scripting language go hand go hand in hand with the programming language the next thing is scripting languages get interpreted than that of the compiler compiled so instead of compiler interpreter is here in the scripting language let's see how it works here you can see that a single instruction of a scripting language is passed to the interpreter and it executes interpreted single instruction at a time the main difference see you have to Uh, very careful about the difference between compiler and the interpreter i am explaining that the main difference between programming and a scripting language how it gets compiled right so the scripting language uses an interpreter which translates each instruction a single instruction 
at a time executes it and then moves to the next instruction and continues to do the same line by line instead of all at once as compiler does compiler executes oh sorry compile compiles all 100 line of code for example at a time but the interpreter interprets the instruction line by line so this is done all remaining instruct this is done for all remaining instruction line by line instead of all once as a compiler does this is the main difference between the programming language and a scripting language so which are the scripting languages are topmost scripting languages used by the programmers they are python python is a general purpose server side scripting language and the javascript javascript which is different than java okay javascript is a scripting language which is not just same as of java and it is interactive and dynamic behavior helps to design dynamic web pages so if you want to design the dynamic web pages the javascript is more helpful because its interactive and dynamic behavior helps us to design dynamic web pages now let's move forward for the third and the last type of computer language they are markup languages so markup markup languages are not a programming or a scripting languages this is the different language it's not a programming nor a scripting language so what is markup language markup languages are presentational languages they are is entirely different since they don't involve logical processing like compiler and interpreter markup languages are languages used for designing web pages it helps to design web pages in following ways which different ways are there as we have seen that this is the presentational language so whenever we want to define a data it helps us describing data it also help us for structuring of a data we can use the markup language and for organizing the data also the markup language can be used so markup languages are the language used for designing web pages so which languages are there which helps us to design the web pages in which we can present the data so the first one is html html stands for hypertext markup language it defines the structure and content of a static web page html5 see this is the symbol of or logo of html5 html5 is used to embed images videos and audio in web pages whereas previously the previous version of html was not supporting to all these things that it provides only the static web pages and here it's not actually dynamic but previously only the text was there in the uh, what we can say web pages but html5 supports to embed the image videos and the audios but if we want to design somehow the next that is dynamic pages then css will help you css is uh, stands for cascading style sheets and it is responsible for presenting content in a visually appealing way actually css code enables all the different colors and fonts the sizing of elements and how those elements get displayed on the page all these things can be done with the help of css3 and the page layout and how items get arranged next to other another this also can be facility is given by the css3 so more powerful scripting language is html5 and css3 we can say a powerful or we also can say more uh, popular scripting languages are html5 and css3 so thank you friends for listening and watching this video i hope this information will be helpful for you people if you want to go forward in your career for these different areas then you can choose the most popular languages with this if you like the content and the video 
प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड शेयर दीज वीडियोज एंड चैनल विथ योर फ्रेंड्स योर आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग यूर सब्सक्रिप्शन लिंक इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब येट देन डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू हैप्पी लर्निंग हैप्पी प्रोग्रामिंग थैंक यू